Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being a music journalism site, links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's the latest track by Phoenix, and that's J-Boy. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos, so I hope you enjoy. Now going into this track, it's fair to say I don't really know anything or at least all too much about this group. I have heard them raised sort of every now and then in music forums and I've seen them involved in big lineups for big festivals all around the world but I've never really had the chance to dive into their discography to give my own opinion of things. However they've just released this brand new track. I actually missed it when it came out so I'm just getting around to it now so should we see what I thought of it? Well, I thought it was pretty darn good, and there is a lot within this track's runtime which you can really seek a lot of fun out of. The little synth melody slash ostinato that plays in the background uh, might seem a little repetitive to some, and if you don't like it from the start, then this song really won't be for you. But I really enjoyed it, and I liked having that instrumental melodic phrase being the semi slash mini hook to this track. I thought the vocal performance, although a little bit slurry at times, also was really solid throughout this track, and it certainly gave the song uh, a stylistic quality which makes it recognisable and, and makes it recognisable from a band influence you know as soon as you hear the vocals within this track and, and a lot of the little sort of elements within this track you'll immediately know it's a Phoenix track. I also thought the little sort of electronics slash programmed bass sounded great as well also adding this sort of acidic influence into the low ground of this track which you don't often see especially in the indie music scene. Production wise, the track definitely relies on this very vivid and exploratory texture, a bit of a watery texture in fact. And I think this texture is actually mixed very, very well. So I guess you can kind of sum up my feelings towards the production cycle this time around before I even have to go into detail. The synths and pads have these really unique timbres and tones that hence create a very strange and retro atmosphere for this song to really form around. Then you have this electronic bass as I've already mentioned that is wholesome and yet obtains a slightly dirty tone to it hence filling that low ground with a bit of character which is what I always enjoy. The vocals have been equalized to buggery and also have this thick chorus effect put over the top of them but it kind of works really well alongside this very atypical mix and the atypical texture which I've already talked about. It could have easily been swamped by all these crazy instrumentals, timbres, tones, whatever you want to call it but it luckily didn't suffer from it at all because it was just as unique as those around it. When it comes to the musicality of this track, I thought the song had its fair share of memorable sequences. I thought the drums, though simplistic throughout, complemented the driving double note progressions in the bass line, with the kick working in unison to create this very punchy rhythm. I thought the vocal performance was strong as well, as I have already said, you know, earlier on in this review and I liked how varied the vocal melodies were in particular especially in that chorus. I did think the track lacked some variation in the instrumentals uh, in particular as each part really only changed in the dynamics and the sheer amount of layering in the uh, sort of pads and the harmonies. Unlike many other tracks and their usage of uh, repetition it isn't a bad thing per se this time around but rather just a personal preference that meant I thought the track was a little more one-dimensional than I think it should have been. I think it had more potential than that. Having said that, I enjoyed the chorus sequence in particular and how powerful it was, especially harmonically as I've already mentioned, and I thought the verse portrayed a lot of personality too. Lyrically, the track is a little obscure and it is a little bit wacky as well, but it works well with the instrumentals around it to create this very strange and lucid environment. Really 80s-esque actually. All in all, it's definitely worth a listen and I can't wait to hear more by the group as my first outing or rather my first listen to some of this group's material. I'm, I'm digging it, I'm well in for it. So I give it a G rating of 7.5 out of 10, which is well above average. So if you like this video, then please leave a like, subscribe to see more, comment in the comment section down below and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.